What's up, YouTube? This is a rogue lockdown with a new video for you. So I'm going to tell you a story about my dog, Abby. She was my first big puppy that I actually remembered compared to the last few that I had when I was growing up. Um, but Abby is a Labradoodle. She is beautiful, amazing, and she actually just celebrated her 15th birthday. Yeah, she is that damn old. This story involves her in her younger years of seven. We used to do these huge walks that were um, from my parents' house all the way to a Starbucks that was in this little village area where there was multiple different stores. Um, so the whole family would go, sometimes my parents would go just by themselves and Abby, but Abby just loved to go, she loves walks like walks is not her kryptonite for her age she will still go on walks and she is pretty much dying the whole way through but she still loves them so always got to experience this and um she would just always go on these walks for all the way to starbucks because we would get a wide variety of different items uh, and then head back home, drinking it, enjoying, chatting, all that stuff. Now, there was one time where my parents just went by themselves. Um, I was busy in the morning. This is around the time that I also started preparing and working with my zoo career. So a lot of the mornings I was dedicated for the zoo for some reason. Um, they go all the way to Starbucks. Um, and usually how it works is just because Abby does have anxiety. Uh, she will wait there. Uh, with one of my parents and they will just kind of chill get some water and just kind of relax because Abby um, Has a black coat so on extremely hot days. She Nearly dies. So my mom goes in to get the Starbucks orders um, for my dad and her um, My dad and Abby my lovely lovely father are waiting at one of the little benches uh, and tables outside of the Starbucks waiting for um, my mom to return and this uh, Karen approaches. And the only reason I say Karen is because I feel like she would be a Karen nowadays, but um, it's just the first thing that also comes to my head. But she approaches and she is just full on. Oh my God, your dog is so beautiful. Can I please pet your dog? My father, being the lovely gentleman that he is, is just like, of course, please pet my dog. She is very nice, um, and she will love the attention. Now, prior to that, Abby just got done drinking about four gallons of water before that, so, she, so things were accumulating, growing in strength and power beyond comprehension. Pretty much imagine the Big Bang is about to go down in my dog's stomach as a burp was building up. So all of these events happen simultaneously. Like I was saying, Abby just got done horking down 30 gallons of water. Karen approaches and wants to pet Abby. Now the moment that Karen reaches down to pet Abby, this dog looks up at Karen with wagging her tail with excitement and just goes Ugh! like flat out scaring this woman. She recoiled back like a rattlesnake, made her little Karen calling and was just like, oh Lord. And my dad was trying to play it cool because he was just like, I am terribly sorry about that. Um, she um, occasionally has those moments. And the lady, Karen, was just too traumatized by it and left. The moment that she left, my dad looks down at Abby, who's looking up at him, just wagging his tail, and he just loses it. I mean, flat out, gun wrenching laughter because oh my god this dog would do this at this exact moment where a lady was complimenting on how beautiful and cute she was and then she unleashes the titans out of her mouth and basically engulfs a hot steamy breath of dog breath into her face oh my god i love my dog so that is the story 
Um, just can't trust dogs anymore, to be honest, because at times they want to be cute, but other times you know that they are just waiting for an opportunity to just burp or even fart. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please check out the other channel that I've created, Oink Passwater, down below in the comment section. Uh, and please subscribe. Uh, so hoping to get maybe at least 80 subscribers at least sometime in my life. Um, but hopefully um, you guys continue to keep enjoying my materials and I will see you next week as this is Heroic Lockdown preparing for interstellar launch. <laughs> <coughs> I thought I was going to burp.